The leader of Rwanda's opposition Green Party says he is running to be the country's next president to solve the problems of food insecurity and youth unemployment, among others. Frank Habineza submitted his candidature yesterday, Monday, for the July 15 poll. The Rwandan government denied the application of another opposition leader, Victoria Ngabiri Umohoza, in the elections because she, she had been convicted and imprisoned. Habi Nelza tells me that the Electoral Commission told him his application needed a letter saying he has no other national, nationality besides Rwanda. Today, myself and uh, members of the Democratic Green Party of Rwanda we went to the National Electoral Commission uh, to submit our candidature for the presidency of the Republic of Rwanda uh, for the July uh, 2024 uh, presidential elections. But we also submitted uh, uh, candidatures for parliamentary candidates. So the event went quite well, although they say that uh, there were uh, uh, many important documents I did not carry, uh, which we got uh, not having other citizenship. So for that, uh, previously I had Swedish citizenship. I renounced it in 2017 uh, when I stood uh, for the first time for the presidency. So I thought that uh, I don't have to submit that again since I'm no longer a Swedish citizen since uh, seven years ago. But they say that uh, I'll need to submit that once again. The second thing they said was an application letter for the presidential uh, candidature, which was not among the requirements, but still the problem. I'll submit that tomorrow. So I would say that uh, 99% the event went well. Let me understand. The Elections Commission chairperson was questioning the lack of a letter from you applying for what? Submitting your citizenship? No, it's a, yeah, they said a letter applying for submitting a candidature. That's what they said. That I should have uh, applied to some, uh, the letter. But among the requirements that we had, that, uh, that was not uh, among the requirements, but they mentioned that. So it's a simple thing, it's just writing a letter. I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. So the other thing was proof that I don't have another uh, citizenship. So I don't think that I had to give that proof because I'd given that proof to the National Electoral Commission seven years ago when I stood for presidency in 2017. So, but she said that I need to do that again. Well, not a problem. I still have the documents. I will give them tomorrow. What are you putting forward? What are you telling the people of uh, Rwanda? Why are you running for president? We are running for presidency uh, for several reasons. But first is to make sure that everyone has something to eat, that everyone that has the food on the table. We want to make sure that uh, we solve the problem of food security because our country is still importing food from outside the country. That's importing rice from Bangladesh, from India, from Tanzania and elsewhere. So I need to make sure that uh, my country has enough food for everyone. Secondly, I need to also make sure that uh, I solve the problem of unemployment. We have uh, unemployment rate now at 22% for uh, the youth. We also need to improve our security situation. As you know, that Rwanda is surrounded by several countries uh, which have uh, been uh, even uh, um, threatening to attack our country. Even we've had uh, airplanes from Congo. Uh, so we need to improve our security, but by promoting the uh, peaceful means of conflict resolution. At the moment, we have our border with the Burundi closed. So I need to make sure that uh, we can we cannot have any border closed with our neighbors. Mr. Habeneza, you know that um, opposition leader Victoria Ngabiri is not allowed to participate in this election. Now, what are your chances? I am the opposition leader actually in Rwanda because uh, it's my party is the first party that uh, won a parliamentary election for the first time after almost 30 years. We entered one parliament as the first opposition party and uh, my party had uh, three parliamentarians, one two uh, members of uh, parliament and one senator. So um, we are the biggest opposition party in parliament because other parties are in the ruling coalition. So uh, the lady you have mentioned, she's a position person, but she doesn't have a registered political party. My party is regularly registered since 2013. So we are the legitimate opposition party and I'm the opposition leader. Frank Habinaza is the leader of Rwanda's opposition Green Party. He was speaking with us from the capital, Kigali. UN peacekeepers in Abyei, a disputed region claimed by both Sudan and South East Sudan, reported an accord between two clashing communities to improve relations and foster peaceful farming and grazing, a UN spokesman said on Monday. 
Stefan Dujaric, chief spokesman for UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, said the UN Italian Security Force for Abeyi UNISFOR reported back to UN headquarters that representatives of the Ngok, Dinka, and Miselia communities signed the agreement in central Abeyi at a post migration meeting over the weekend. The gathering was a follow-on to the successful pre-migration conference held in Inung, which is located to the west of Abeyi in December of last year and follows a welcome decline in clashes between the Ngong Dinka and Miseliya communities during the migration season, Dojalik said. The spokesman said more than 140 community leaders and members from both communities, including 41 women, attended the four-day conference facilitated by UNISFA with other UN and non-UN partners. Gong Dink farmers primarily inhabit the southern region of Abay. The nomadic Miselia pastorists from Sudan migrate annually into and generally through the northern region of Abeyi to access South Sudan's greater Bah el Ghazar and Unity states. Frequent clashes have occurred between the two groups over the years.